Chapter 35 Be glad, you thirsty desert, and rejoice exceedingly, and let the desert blossom as a lily. The desert places of the Jordan shall blossom abundantly and rejoice exceedingly. The glory of Lebanon and the honor of Carmel shall be given to it, and my people shall see the glory of the Lord and the majesty of our God. Be strong, you relaxed hands and feeble knees. Be comforted, you faint-hearted. Be strong, do not fear. Behold, our God renders judgment and will render it. He will come and save us. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall hear. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb will speak clearly. For water shall burst forth in the desert, and a valley in the thirsty land. The waterless desert shall become meadows, and the thirsty land springs of water. There will be the gladness of birds, a habitation of reeds and marshes. A pure way shall be there, and it shall be called a holy way. No unclean man shall pass through there, neither shall there be an unclean way there. But those dispersed shall walk in it, and they shall not go astray no lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous animals go up on it, nor at all be found there. But the redeemed shall walk in it, and those gathered by the Lord shall return and come to Zion with gladness, and with everlasting gladness over their head. For praise and exceeding joy will be on their head, and gladness shall possess them. Pain, sorrow, and sighing fled away. Chapter 36 Now it came to pass in the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah that Sennacherib king of the Assyrians came up against all the fortified cities of Judah and took them then. The king of the Assyrians sent Rabshakeh with a great army from Lachish to King Hezekiah at Jerusalem, and he stood by the aqueduct of the upper pool, on the way of the fuller's field. So Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, the steward, Shebna the scribe, and Joah the son of Azaph, the recorder, came out to him then the Rabshakeh said to them, Say now to Hezekiah. Thus says the great king, the king of the Assyrians, Why are you confident, is a war carried on by counsel or mere words? Now in whom do you trust, that you disobey me? Behold, you are trusting in the staff of this broken reed, Egypt, on which if a man leans, it will puncture his hand. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt and all who trust in him. But will you say, we trust in the Lord our God. Now therefore, make an agreement with my Lord the King of the Assyrians, and I will give you two thousand horses if you are able on your part to put riders on them. How are you able to turn back the face of one governor? Those who trust in the Egyptians for horse and rider are our servants. Have we now come up without the Lord to make war against this country? Then Eliakim, Shebna, and Joah said to the Rabshakeh, Speak to your servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it, and do not speak to us in Hebrew in the hearing of the men who are on the wall. But Rabshakeh said to them, Has my Lord sent me to your Lord? Or to you to speak these words? Has he not sent me to speak to the men who sit on the wall? So they may eat their own dung, and drink their own urine with you. Then the Rabshakeh stood and called out with a loud voice in Hebrew, and said, Hear the words of the great king, the king of the Assyrians. Thus says the king, Do not let Hezekiah deceive you with words, which will be unable to deliver you, nor let Hezekiah say to you, God will deliver you, and this city will not be given into the hand of the king of the Assyrians. Do not listen to Hezekiah, for thus says the king of Assyria, If you wish to be blessed, come out to me, and each of you will eat from his own vine and his own fig tree, and all of you will drink the waters of your own cistern, until I come and take you away to a land like your own land, a land of grain and wine, and of bread and vineyards. Let not Hezekiah deceive you, saying, God will deliver us. 
has any one of the gods of the nations delivered its land from the hand of the king of the Assyrians? Where are the gods of Hamath and Arpad? Where are the gods of Sepharvaim? Have they delivered Samaria from my hand? Who among all the gods of these nations delivered his land from my hand, that God should deliver Jerusalem from my hand? But they held their peace and answered him not a word, because of the king's commandment not to answer him. Then Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, the steward, Shebna the scribe of the army, and Joah, the son of Azaph, the recorder, came to Hezekiah with their clothes torn and told him the words of the Rab Shake. Chapter 37 Thus it came to pass, when King Hezekiah heard this, he tore his clothes, covered himself with sackcloth, and went into the house of the Lord then he sent Eliakim, the steward, Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests, covered with sackcloth, to Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Amos. So they said to him, Thus says Hezekiah, This day is a day of affliction, disgrace, rebuke, and wrath, for the pangs of childbirth have come, but there is no strength to give birth. May the Lord your God hear the words of the Rab Shake, whom the king of the Assyrians sent to denounce the living God, and to insult him with words which the Lord your God heard. Therefore you shall pray to the Lord your God for the remnant that is left. So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah, and Isaiah said to them, Thus shall you say to your Lord, The Lord says this, Do not be afraid of the words you heard, whereby the ambassadors of the king of the Assyrians denounced me. Behold, I will send a spirit upon him, and he shall hear a rumor and return to his land. Then he will fall by the sword in his own land. So Rabshakeh returned and found the king warring against Libna. Then the king of the Assyrians heard that Tiraka king of the Ethiopians had come out to make war against him. So when he heard it, he returned and sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, Thus you shall speak to Hezekiah king of Judah, saying, Do not let your God in whom you trust deceive you, saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of the Assyrians. You heard what the kings of the Assyrians did to all lands by destroying them. Did the gods of the nations deliver those my fathers destroyed Gozan and Haran and Retef in the country of Telassar? Where are the kings of Hamath and Arpad, and the kings of the city of Sepharvaim, Hena, and Iva? So Hezekiah received the scroll from the messengers and opened it before the Lord. Then Hezekiah prayed to the Lord, saying, O oh, Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the one who sits between the cherubim, you alone are the God of all the kingdoms of the world. You made heaven and earth. Hear, O Lord, and open your eyes, O Lord, and see the words Sennacherib sent to denounce the living God. For it is true, the kings of the Assyrians laid waste the inhabited earth and their countries, and cast their idols into the fire, for they were not gods, but works of men's hands wood and stone. Therefore they destroyed them. But now, O Lord our God, save us from their hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know you alone are God. Then Isaiah the son of Amos sent to Hezekiah and said to him, The Lord God of Israel says this, I heard what you prayed to me against Sennacherib king of the Assyrians. This is the word God has spoken concerning him, the virgin daughter of Zion has despised and laughed you to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem has shaken her head at you whom have you denounced and provoked? Or against whom have you raised your voice? You have lifted your eyes on high against the Holy One of Israel. By your messengers, you have insulted the Lord, for you said, by the multitude of my chariots I came to the height of the mountains, to the limits of Lebanon. I cut down its tall cedars and its choice cypress trees, and entered the height of its forest region. I built a bridge, and dried up the waters and every pool of water. 
Did you not hear long ago the things I did? From ancient times I appointed them, but now have manifested my purpose to desolate nations in their strongholds and those who dwell in strong cities. I weakened their hands, and they withered, and they became like dry grass on the housetops and like weeds. Now then, I know your resting place, your going out and your coming in. Your great rage and bitterness has come up to me. Therefore I will put a hook in your nose and a bridle in your lips, and I will turn you back by the way you came. This shall be a sign to you, you shall eat this year what you sowed, and the second year what is left over, also in the third year sow and reap, plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. So the remnant in the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem a remnant shall go forth, and those saved from Mount Zion. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform these things. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of the Assyrians, he shall not come into the city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor build a siege. Mount against it. By the way he came, by the same shall he return, says the Lord. I will protect the city, to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. Then the angel of the Lord went out and killed in the camp of the Assyrians one hundred and eighty-five thousand, and when people arose early in the morning, they discovered all the dead bodies then Sennacherib king of the Assyrians departed and returned to Nineveh and dwelt there. Now it came to pass, as he was worshipping in the house of Nisroch his God, his sons Adramelech and Sharezer struck him down with the sword, then escaped into the land of Ararat, and Ezerhaddon his son reigned in his place. Notes from the previous page. 34 colon 11 reference to the measuring line is also found in Luke 638, with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. 35,8-9 The dispersed will walk the holy way a highway of holiness, carrying the light of Christ to the world. 36,1 An ancient Assyrian account of the events surrounding the siege of Jerusalem affirms that 46 fortified cities in Judah had already been taken by Sennacherib. 35,1-10 This passage is read on January 5th, the eve of the Feast of Theophany on the feast day. January 6th. 36 colon 3 Shebna and Iliakim are mentioned in chapter 22. 36 colon 4 The Rav Sheke was a chief officer in the Assyrian army. 36 colon 4 6 The Rav Sheke warns that the time for diplomacy has passed, and that Egypt, weak as a broken reed, will be more likely to hurt than help Judah. The situation for Jerusalem seems hopeless. But Assyria's pride in its own power, mockery against God's people, and blasphemy against God will be met with a punishment equal to the sin. 37 36, 38. 36 colon 21 Just as Christ remained silent before his accusers, Iliakim, Shebna, and Joah made no reply to the Rab Shekeah's blasphemous claims against God. 37 colon 1 4 When King Hezekiah went into the temple, he did not pray for deliverance. Despite his distress. Instead, he asked Isaiah to pray that God rebuke the enemies. Blasphemy, and to pray for the remnant in Jerusalem.